In this video, we will demonstrate indentation tonometry. In the picture, shorts indentation tonometer is shown and it has got foot plate, the barrel holder with which you hold it, plunger where you put weights, lever arm, weight 7.5 and 10 grams, the needle and the scale reading on the scale represents zero reading on the scale represents high intraocular pressure and higher number on the scale represents low intraocular pressure it works on the principle of indentation that when you indent central cornea with already known weights you can predict the pressure inside the eye that's the video in this video we will show you three patients First, vernal keratoconjunctivitis, a child with normal intraocular pressure. After each measurement, clean the foot plate that touches the cornea with spirit soaked cotton swab. Now, make the patient supine. Tell him to hold the right hand thumb in front of the eye. Fixate on that thumb. Put topical drops in both eyes. Then, test the tonometer on the test block that whether tonometer is functioning accurately or not by pressing the foot plate on the test block in tonometer box and held tonometer upright if it points zero on the scale like here you can see on the screen it means it is accurate again on the test block we are pressing and the scale shows zero reading so it means that the needle is freely movable and the tonometer is functioning tell the patient to relax don't move the eye with the left hand stabilize the right hand and the patient should gaze straight ahead towards the right hand thumb now gently press the foot plate on the cornea by gently opening the lids tell the patient to calm down now with the tonometer pressed on the left cornea the scale shows five elevate it and gently put it again few times if you are performing accurately the reading will come same like here again and again the reading comes 5 now we are putting 10 gram weight into the plunger and we will take again 3 or 4 readings and now if you see the scale the reading is coming 11 or 12 so all four times on the left cornea reading is same make sure that the tonometer is not inclined towards one side and it is held upright now on the right eye with the 10 gram weight we are taking three or four readings and the reading is 11 now we are removing the weight and the reading is 6 3 or 4 times so this patient had normal intraocular pressure when compared the readings on shorts calculation chart so thanks god this patient has not developed steroid induced glaucoma because steroid induced glaucoma is one of the common findings in the vernal keratoconjunctivitis patients so so with the weight the reading was 11 and 12 and without weight the reading was 5 6 and when compared the intraocular pressure on the calculation chart it was normal shorts calculation chart like 5 5 means 16 17 iop 
Now the next patient is also vernal keratoconjunctivitis patient. We have confirmed that the tonometer is functioning after each use. Clean the foot plate with the spirit soaked gas. And uh, but this patient unfortunately had got high intraocular pressure. So we are showing you that how the needle shows the high intraocular pressure when you gently press on the cornea. When you gently press on the cornea, you can see without weights uh, the needle is pointing zero. The needle is pointing zero four five times and all readings are on the zeros almost six seven times we have confirmed and the reading is on the zero so now again with a 10 gram weight we are checking and uh, with a 10 gram weight still the reading the a tonometer showed three so this patient uh, the second patient had 50 plus intraocular pressure on short indentation now the third patient is high myope with glaucoma without weight the reading is three in the left eye look that is without weight you can see that the reading is take the reading is on the three you can see and uh, now on the right eye the we the reading is on zero on the right eye the reading is almost uh, pointing zero the reading is zero these are necessary to confirm that where the needle points more frequently now we are showing you that uh, you should put the foot plate uh, in the center of the cornea how here you can see the foot plate that's how you should place the foot plate in the center of the cornea to get accurate readings and here again in both eyes so then with a 10 gram weight you should confirm your readings because if the intraocular pressure coincides with and without weight on the calculation chart it means that you have taken the accurate reading so now it is 5 in the right eye and almost 8-9 on the left eye so that's the chart that compares the readings on 5 gram 5 gram is inbuilt then 7.5 gram and then 10 grams from 0 to 20 so that's how you get the readings in the third patient it was between 35 to 40 thank you very much